Greetings family, peace, love, and positive thinking. This is Guru, thanks for visiting my channel. This vlog is about this Oregon bakery that wouldn't bake a cake for a gay couple and they are now officially closed. Sweet Cakes by Melissa officially shutters. Let's go to the story. So family, Sweet Cakes by Melissa has finally officially succumbed to the backlash received since refusing to bake a wedding cake for a same-sex couple. It closed its storefront back in 2013, but owners Aaron and Melissa Klein have been trying to reopen. Their farewell message on Facebook reads, quote, We have closed Sweet Cakes. We appreciate everyone's continued prayer and support, unquote. The Facebook post has been currently shared 148 times received over 600 comments, and been liked by more than 1,300 people. Family, there is a reason why I'm bringing this to you. I'll get back to the article in a minute. But there is a reason why I'm bringing this article to you. So the reason why I'm sharing this, family, with you is because I wanted you to see, I want you to see the power of organization. This is the power of organization. So, you know, people are going to say, okay, well, this is karma. That's what they get. You know, they, they're now closed. No, this is the power of gay people organizing against a company that discriminated against them. So, family, the, the point here is this is what we need to do. We're out there protesting and doing all these things. And honestly, I feel that this point in time we're wasting a lot of time we're wasting a lot of time yes we're making uh things inconvenient for other people but at the same time sometimes that uh brings on resentment we really need to show our solidarity and our organization in other ways so instead of maybe protesting uh out in the streets maybe protest uh we start protesting businesses and with our signs and we're marching out in the streets and letting people see our signs and whatnot or whatnot. Something that's kind of different that's going to really make a difference like closing a bakery, for instance, when you fail to do something. And in, at, in, in this particular case, this bakery from these two individuals who decided that, nope, I'm not going to bake you a cake because you guys are, you're gay. We don't want to bake cakes for gay people. Well, your business was to bake cakes. <laughs> what you just shown was straight discrimination. And so, whether you agree with it or not, this vlog is not even about that. Because it's not a matter of whether I agree with it or not. This is about... A principle here and the principle here is you're in business to do business period and so when you get a business license all of a sudden when you decide that you don't want to serve certain people or whatnot that's discrimination now maybe they would have gotten away with it if they had a sign plastered and postered you know as you enter into the bakery that says we reserve to we reserve the right to refuse service to anyone i mean that's still discriminating but maybe they would have gotten away with it a little more i don't know uh, who knows but what they did was straight discrimination in the face of it all and gay people organized and now this couple with the smile with these stupid smirks on their face right this couple right here has to smile that their company, their bakery, is no longer a bakery. Yeah, and that's because you showed stupidity. You showed what it was like to be white. You guys like to do that kind of thing. Discriminate and be, you know, racist towards people. I'm, I'm not saying that this particular situation you were being racist, but you were surely discriminating. You guys like to do that kind of thing. And so with that said, your bakery is now closed. So I'm going to get back to the article. 
So family, the Kleins are currently appealing a legal ruling ordered by the Oregon Bureau of Labor and, and in the, uh, Labor and Industries to pay $135,000 in damages to the same-sex couple. The Kleins paid the amount in full plus interest in December 2015. And at that time, the Kleins lawyer, Tyler Smith, explained the reasoning behind the payment. He said... The clients paid because they were being charged 9% interest on the court-ordered amount, which equated to around $35 a day, and since their appeal wouldn't be heard until 2016, Smith said it made sense to pay the amount immediately. And he was right. That, that made perfect sense, mathematically. So with that said, Sweet Cakes by Melissa... And her husband, Aaron, uh, is officially closed. And it's closed probably because, uh, like I said again, the gay community organized and made sure that this company wouldn't exist any longer. And so they are now officially closed. So family, I hope you, if nothing else, it's not about, uh, like I said, it's not about the, the whole thing about the gay thing. This is about a principle here. It's an organized principle that I wish African Americans, Africans, black people, people of color would get together and organize. And we could do things of this nature, of this nature. We could shut things down. So family, with that said, this is Guru. I really appreciate your time watching. I appreciate your support. Until next time, peace, love, and positive thinking. I'm out.